Welcome to a Forza video that I really didn't expect to be making today. Today, we are going to be talking about Forza Streets, a potential leaked Forza mobile game. However, before we get too far into this, I wanted to make it clear that nothing in this video is officially confirmed. Something leaked over on the Forza website, which obviously we'll talk about, and then people compiled a bunch of information, put it all together to come up with some very plausible explanations as to what could be going on with Forza Street. So, let's get into it. So, if you've been around the Forza franchise for a little while, you might remember hearing some rumors about a potential Forza game a couple of years ago. Long story short, if you don't know what's going on, a couple of years ago, there were a lot of rumors that Forza was potentially working on a third game, because obviously we've got Forza Motorsport, Forza Horizon, and then there were rumors that they wanted to make a third mobile game around the Forza franchise. Anyways, it was rumored to be coming out for the Windows Phone as well as the Windows Store. However, when the Windows Phone was eventually killed off, we sort of just lost all hope in this potential Forza game. That was a couple of years ago though. If you jump ahead a little bit, nine months ago actually, I covered a video on the channel or a game on the channel called Miami Street, which you might remember. Essentially, it was a mobile racing game for the Windows Phone and the Windows Store. It was essentially a racing game where you had two buttons. You had the accelerator pedal and the nitrous pedal. Sort of kind. Miami Streets, if you remember it, they were using Forza car models, they were using a bunch of similar wording to Forza pre uh, previous Forza games, and so on and so forth, stuff like that. There were a lot of similarities between the two. The game didn't actually even come out all around the world, it was only released in certain regions. It wasn't even released in the UK, which is where it was made, actually. And we actually thought the entire project was dead. Until now, actually. One of my buddies, Kyle Patrick, a fellow Canadian from GT Planet, actually spotted something very interesting over on the Forza website. So before we get into that, you might remember that Raymond and I went to the Toronto Auto Show last week, and you probably saw some of the promo from some of my videos last week where I was like explaining where I would be and stuff, and we did a little bit of a meet and greet. It was awesome. Anyways, that was a tournament in Forza Motorsport 7 that Ray and I were hosting. It was really cool, actually. Anyways, one of the community managers over at Turn 10, Brian Eckberg, who you might actually know because he's done a lot of cool Forza stuff before. He's been in some of my videos before. Awesome, dude. He went over on the Forza website and actually wrote about the event. So Brian went in and wrote up a recap article on the event. It was super, super cool. And he linked to an external site in that recap. However, that link didn't actually take you to another website. It actually linked to a file on Brian's computer. Although we weren't able to check out the link in full, we were able to see a little bit of what was included in that potential file. And here's what it said, actually. Developed in partnership with UK-based studio Electric Square, Forza Street is built from the ground up to support a wide range of Windows 10, iOS, and Android devices. That's all that we were able to see, but right there, We've already got a lot of info to go off of, and a lot of people, like I said, did a lot of digging and was able to put together some very, very interesting information. Firstly, we have a name, Forza Streets, which is pretty cool. It sounds like a potential mobile game for sure, and obviously is that potential rumored third franchise for the Forza games. Two, we also know the people that are making it, Electric Square, and wouldn't it be funny if I told you that Electric Square has actually worked on another racing game in the past? Hmm, what might that be? Oh, M Miami Streets. Yeah, they made that as well. Electric Square has actually come out multiple times in like job postings and stuff like that and explicitly said that they are working on a major title for a major IP, which would be Forza and Microsoft right there. And third and finally, we actually have something else that is actually quite interesting. In the title of the file, you can actually see it's called Week in Review, which is like a weekly thing they do over on the Forza website. That's what this file was originally included to be in. Long story short, we know my boy Danny G, the creative director over at Turn 10. He's like the guy you see on stage at E3 during like the Forza Motorsport launches and stuff. He will be on a Forza live stream this coming Friday, where we might potentially see some more information about this potential Forza game. He's actually never been on a Forza livestream before, so we'll have to see what's included. The fact that he's on it 
could mean we might get some potentially huge news, which would be awesome. Combine that with the fact that we know Forza Motorsport 8 is not going to be coming out in 2019, and obviously Horizon 5 won't be coming out this year, it means that there's going to be no Forza game in 2019. Could a potential Forza Mobile game be taking its place this year? It would certainly make a lot of sense. We know that the guys at Electric Square have obviously made a racing game in the past, and although it wasn't the most intricate sort of thing, it was actually quite fun, had a lot of backstory, and had a lot of different features in it. Although it wasn't super, super fleshed out and like the most, I will say, exciting game to play, it was actually quite fun and quite well thought out. If you haven't seen my Miami Streets video though, I will link to it down below. It sort of snuck through the cracks. I think it only has like 50,000 views, so if you want to check it out and see what they actually did back in the day, I will, I'll link to it down below. Anyways, regardless, it's going to be super, super cool to see what does happen with this project. If anything, like I said, we don't actually know. This has been a leaked thing by Forza that they have done themselves and we don't actually have any other information to go off that's official. So until we do get something official, it's all just speculation from here. I personally would love a new Forza game and a mobile Forza game would be a great addition, although it would change things up dramatically. It would introduce a hell of a lot of new people to the Forza franchise, get a bunch of new people on board, and hey, give us another awesome car game to play on the go. That is my true dream with this thing, so that would be really, really cool. Anyways, until we do get some more news, like I said, it's all speculation, it's all leaked, nothing is confirmed just now, but if anything does come on Friday, I will be sure to make a video here on the channel for you guys. Until then, though, thank you so much for watching. If you want to stay up to date with everything Forza Street, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys soon, hopefully with a little bit more information on this game. See you guys then. Bye!